Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to segment, um, or extract segments in Elan using Prot. Um, so we've already segmented and transcribed an audio file in Elan, and I've shown you in a previous video how to, uh, to extract those into individual WAV files using Audacity, which is my preferred method. Um, the, another way is to use Prot. Um, Prot can do this as long as you know how to do scripting. Um, otherwise, it can be pretty monotonous. Let me just show you some properties about uh, of, of using this. So if I were to choose one of these words, I can right-click on the, the sound wave and clip this selection with Prot. And what's going to happen is it's going to open just this segment in Prot. So let me do that really quick. And normally what it's going to ask you is to locate the sendprot.exe file. So you need to have that downloaded. You can find that on the Prot website. Uh, and then what happens is it loads a beautiful waveform, a spectrogram um, into Prot, just like this. But to do that um, manually for each one, to highlight and then right-click on each segment, would take a long time. Um, so there's got to be a better way to do this, and there is if you prefer to use Prot. So um, let me just get rid of that. And if I go here, just like we did with Audacity, if I go to this export as, I'm gonna, this time I'm going to export as Prot text grid. Now what this is going to do is it's going to export these labels as a text grid that Prot can use and um, um, use to segment the audio. So I'm going to do that. And I want all three things selected because Prot can handle all three labels uh, and more. So we will just push OK. And it'll ask me what it, what it, uh, where I want it to be saved. And I already have it saved, so I'm just going to put save over on top of this one. Oh, and one more thing: make sure you default it the encoding as UTF-8 to make sure that no Unicode characters get lost in the shuffle. Um, so this will save me a text grid. Now, um, yeah, I want to save it. Now, if I go to my file where all the my project file, uh, my project folder, I'm sorry. Uh, I now have a cubeo.txt grid, okay, and that's useful for Prot. So now if I go to Prot, let me maximize this and uh, remove that waveform. Um, I, I can open the text grid and the original audio file, um, not uh, uh, the original one, uh, the, the one that I segmented in a lawn. And it prop will be able to segment it automatically. Now, this one's a long sound file, so I'm going to open a long sound file and go to my audio. Let me get there really quick. Um, there it is. Okay. And now I also need to open my, my text grid. So I just need to go and navigate to where my text grid is. Now, I need to select both. Uh, both things in the in the file menu and then select view and edit and what's going to happen is it's going to give me this great spectrogram and everything's going to be already segmented for me uh, on, on the same layer tiers as I did in Elon uh, and you notice that the names haven't been changed at all either uh, so now what you want to do is have uh, run a script for prot to be able to uh, isolate each one of these segments Okay, so um, I'm not very good with scripts. Um, I, I've never taken the time to get into them, but a lot of people have, and there's a number of scripts online. So just Google and search for the script you want. Um, I found one that seems to match what we needed to do, and so I'm just going to run that script. So if I go to uh, back to the file uh, menu and open Pratt script, I have one on my desktop called Extract. Um, so I'm going to do that, click on that one, and if I run this, what's going to happen is it's going to go through this file and look for everything that's been bracketed off in, in, in a text grid and just extract that as a WAV file. So I'm going to run this selection, um, and it gives you some options, okay? Um, the first one is, uh, which tier do you want to be used? as the segmenter, like the, the tier that will decide how to divide up the audio. All of our tiers are pretty much identical, but if you had some where you had a vowel tier and a word tier and a phrase tier, you'd have to choose which one you'd want segmented. I'm going to leave everything else the same, except I do need to um, 
put the 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 path to the 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 place that I want to include this is. So let me just copy and paste that. Oh, of course, it won't work. There it is. So back in there. Oops, where's my script? Here it is. So I'm just going to put this in my words folder that I've already created. And we'll know that it exists because um, everything will be prefixed with TMP in front of it. So you'll know that this is different than what we did with Audacity. Okay, so everything's all great. So I'll just push apply. And it says there will be now 19 sound files created. Do I want that? And I say, yeah, because that's about what I expect. And I push continue and it's done. So if I open up my folder um, here um, and I open up my word, oh, it made it one less. So here they all are. I have now separate wave files for each of the words from prot that I can uh, again um, isolate and, and um, do some phonetic study on. Um, incidentally, there is a way to batch do these so that you can have the computer analyze them for you so you don't have to go through each word and annotate the vowels and stuff like that. There is a way to do that and I'll have to show you that in a different tutorial. Um, but but this was a, a way to get the data, the segmented data from Elon um, out as individual WAV files using PROT. Um, thanks.